This week we'll be taking a look at Weezer's Green Album. Once again, I'll be going track by track rating each song as good, neutral, or bad. This scale is for simplicity while I give my quick thoughts on each song. After each song has been rated, I shall give a final rating for the album itself. So let us begin. First up on the chopping block is Don't Let Go. It's poppy, a little catchy, but it's bland. I thought this song was a homunculus based on its lack of soul. Hell, I have nothing to say about the lyrics except they're lacking. This one is neutral, but I can feel some bad seeping into it. Next up is Photograph. Thank Moon and Star, this isn't the Nickelback song. Well, I guess Weezer predates Nickelback's use of the title by four years. Sorry I thought you'd like some actual conversation instead of another pop song. This one plays it safe. Nothing too special, a little catchy, I guess, but overall I feel neutral. I was starting to get a little worried this entire album would be neutral or bad. Hashpipe finds a good balance between pop and rock. Pop rocks, if you will. It's energetic, and oddly I liked River's higher-pitched singing. This one can go into the pile of good songs. Easily the biggest and most well-known song off the Green album, Island in the Sun. The little hip-hip bits almost feel self-aware that this album was made to be more pop and cool. Overall, the song is very chill and laid back while feeling like the start of summer. Island in the Sun is good. Halfway through this album, we have Crab. Crab if you want her, crab if you need it, crab at the booty. Crab at the booty. The booty. This is much better than it needs to be. This is good, no jokes. Knockdown Drag Out is our sixth track. For a moment, I felt a hint of Green Day, but Green Day on the Green Album would be almost too convenient. It was also at this point I realized almost all the guitar solos on this album mimic the melody. I won't lie to you, this song made me zone the fuck out and disassociate. This is a very neutral song. Seventh track is Smile. This song did put a smile on my face. You probably couldn't tell because of the mask. I wish the album had more songs like this. I wanted more of this. I was feeling it. I was happy for a moment. This is the best song on the album so far, and it's criminally underrated. Then my smile and optimism died thanks to the eighth track, Simple Pages. Does Weezer hate the sixth house and the tribe unmourned? It's like four Argonians disguised themselves as a band for the sole purpose of tricking me. This one is neutral, I guess. It's fine. It's okay. Papa Dagoth is just getting frustrated. Second to last song is Glorious Day. It'll be a glorious day when this review is over. I don't just listen to each song once and call it a day. No, I listen to each song maybe four or five times each to assure you the best review. Another song that swims in the shallow end of the pool with water wings. I'm not even trying to sound negative, but these songs are blurring together. Another neutral song. It's the final track, oh girlfriend. I won't waste your time on this one, it's neutral. Just a goddamn tofu burger. Thank God that's over. Ten tracks, six of them neutral and four that are good. Some of the neutral tracks are just short of being good, but they all felt formulaic in their creation. This might appeal to someone of lesser taste because of the consistency, but at the same time you can have diversity while having a level of consistency. This album was a mixed bag that was afraid to be risky. Best tracks are Hashpipe, Island in the Sun, and Smile. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more reviews, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I'll review Maladroit next if people are interested. Thank you for watching.